Hello, happy Friday, and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and this is the local roundup. Sure, the moratorium in Durango is lifted, but the smoky skies screams wildfires. Numerous wildfires from Utah and the Pacific Northwest open the door to hazy skies in the Centennial State. Thankfully, there aren't any wildfires in western Colorado, plus the jet stream is expected to shift east, meaning clear skies on the way. But if you're out camping this weekend, make sure you know the fire restrictions. Now, one couple could have gotten fired up about a slight misunderstanding. Things could have gotten uncomfortable at the Cortez Cemetery. Thankfully, Bob and Lorraine James kept their cool. Instead of getting upset or even accepting compensation for the cemetery's uh-oh, they let the issue go. Oops, or ouch in this case. The Tour de France continues to take a toll on riders. American rider Andrew Tolansky pulled out before stage 12 because of back pain from previous crashes. Andrew Kristoff of Norway won the race with a close finish. Today, stage 13 at 123 miles will test the rider's legs with one of the hardest climbs. Vincenzo Nibali continues to hold the overall lead and the yellow jersey. And happy birthday to the Million Dollar Highway. The San Juan Skyway is celebrating its 25th birthday. The 236 miles of beauty connects Durango to Mancus, Cortez, Telluride, Uray, and Silverton. In 1989, it was named the state's first scenic and historic byway. And in 96, it nationally won the title All-American Road along with 19 other byways. As long as it doesn't involve a rock slide, will the Skyway have a rockin' party? Well, this weekend, the party is just getting started. Tonight, Toto Mundo will play at Buckley Park in Durango. Music in the Mountains and KSUT are hosting the band that connects audiences throughout North and South America and Europe. And check out Studio Selk's gallery expansion in Gem Village tomorrow. Saturday from noon to 6, you'll be able to find local art, jewelry, fossils and gems at the art festival. But a special good luck goes out to local Tiffany Mills. She's competing in the Indigenous Games in Canada starting Sunday. But later today on In the Neighborhood, check out the meaning behind the music. Local Durango band Elder Grown is in the spotlight. Watch their entire story at 3 p.m. today only on FourCornersTV.com. Now here's something to pull at the heartstrings. Not all dogs get to run wild, chew on treats, or sleep in their owner's bed. But fortunately, Rocky, Fawn, and my favorite, Lieutenant Dan, have been given a second chance. They were all found in what could have been a tragic ending. But thankfully, the La Plata County Humane Society stepped in and provided these pups with prime care. But they need your help to cover costs. Kind of like the movie, who wouldn't want to see Lieutenant Dan in a wheelchair living happily ever after? Thanks for watching the local roundup on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and I'll see you Sunday morning.